Hi everyone, my name is Titi. I'm a Nigerian Canadian and I'm a registered nurse. So this video is for those that are looking to transition from um, a non-science background to nursing or any background at all to nursing. So I'm going to start with my background. My first degree, I studied business administration from my home country, Nigeria. And um, so when I got here, initially I didn't want to study nursing. So prior to giving nursing a try, I've heard a lot about um, how nursing is difficult to navigate. So I was like, well, we'll see. Um, first of all, what I just want to say is this is my own experience. Okay, like we're all going to have different experiences. And my journey might be similar with others, but might not be the same. So don't take all my words for it. Still do your own research. And however you're comfortable, once you've got a all the resources you need then of course pursue your goal but listen to all the details that i have to say then do your own research contact the schools of interest that is your school choices and yeah go from there it's very easy for you to reach out to these people they are called they are called course advisors or admission advisors shoot them an email or go online search for their contact call them it's very simple okay it's very very simple don't make things complicated for yourself anyways let me go straight to the point for my first degree i studied business administration from nigeria and um, when i got here i i didn't right away wanted to do nursing so what i wanted to do was something different and i'll talk about that in another video okay so while i was looking up on linkedin and trying to reach out to people i found somebody's um, profile very interesting and I went through and I went through and I found out that the person had a degree because initially, to be honest, initially I wanted to start with LPM program, with the LPM program for the Bow Valley College, which I then had already applied. But then I, I, I just went through, I was like, oh, let me just, you know, connect with nurses, Nigerian nurses here and you know, look through the educational background and it stated after degree nursing. And I was like, what is after degree nursing? I've never heard about that. And I just searched as admission requirements, degree older or after degree nursing, University of Calgary, and I got a contact. And I saw when I saw the admission officer's email, then I saw the requirement. I mean, anatomy, physiology, mathematics, statistics, and it's you have to do this prerequisite. And I was like, how do I navigate through? So what I did was um I reached out to the course advisor. So I sent an email asking for, for details about how I could meet up with this requirement for the GPA. And as I then, the GPA requirement for admission was 3.6. Mind you, 3.6 was just the requirement. However, with 3.6, you could hardly even gain the admission. And just a quick side note, they do have seat capacity so say for instance their seat capacity for the admission here for, um, for faculty of nursing after the route is 200 seats once that 200 seat has reached its max no more they will just put every other person on the waiting list and the truth about this waiting list is nobody is picked up because of course their capacity has been reached and that's it it's over and I would advise you to target a 4.0 GPA. So if you're looking to go for the prerequisite of nursing from probably an online institution, uh, just make sure you get minimum of A in all four requirements. So for University of Calgary, their own admission requirements are, we have mathematics, but it's actually statistics. So more like statistics, mathematics, um, English, um, anatomy and physiology and any other arts course so some people would pick psychology some pick economics i did sociology so this prerequisite to nursing you can take it from recognized online universities you don't have to go to school physically to complete these courses for me remember i'm sharing my experience i completed my prerequisite to nursing during the covid period during the COVID period might be different from what we are having now. All the exams I did, they were online. That's for the Athabasca University um, practice nursing courses, they were online. But now that COVID is over, they are all physical. So it means you have to register for your exams at the designated exam center, okay? Um, so let's talk about admission requirements 
for um, University of Calgary, so for your prerequisites to nursing. Again, English, statistics, anatomy and physiology, and any other art class. It's a target of 4.0. So even if you don't meet up, you know, with a 4.0, a 3.9 is not bad, a 3.8 is not bad, but don't try to go lower than that, okay? So what they would do is they would ask you to contact your school of first degree to transmit um, your transcript to them. So what University of Calgary is going to do to compute your GPA is just 15 units from your last semester of your first degree. So if you have very good grades in your last semester, good for you. That would give you higher chances of getting a very good um, GPA to meet up for the admission requirements. So they take those 15 units, they put them together and merge with what you had from your prerequisites in nursing uh, to compute your cumulative GPA for the admission. And just a side note, some people had to fight off English. Some did not do English. They had to do just statistics, art, and anatomy and physiology. Personally, I did not have that time. I had just about four to five months to complete all my prerequisites. Personally, I did not have the time. I wanted to complete my prerequisites in nursing within four to five months, and which I did, and that's because I wanted to meet up with the admission that year. So those that had that time enough to fight off the English, they had enough time all you know in the previous year. So all you need to do is prove that oh, you know, I did English in my undergraduate days, um, first language is is English and you know personally I didn't have time for all that stuff so if you have enough time prior to admission yeah it's a good thing so that way you would reduce your cost because of course you're going to pay for all these courses for purposes in nursing right um so that way you're going to reduce your cost you're going to maximize your time that is less courses to complete for purposes right now let's go to how the program is and the duration okay for the duration during my time it was just 24 months so two years and i was done i started in january 2020 and i finished december 2022 so you all know university of calgary just introduced something new with the degree holder route um, nursing program they no longer um, offer the 24 month program so now it's 28 months so what they want to do is merge the um degree older nursing student with a transfer nursing student. So it means transfer nursing applicants and degree older nursing applicants as that gain admission will be resuming um, in fall. So that means um, they are no longer having winter intake for the um, degree older nursing program. So it's no longer 24 months, it's now 28 months. But come to think of it, four months extra, what's the big deal? Just know that the four months extra is just your preceptorship and you're out. So that's still better than doing the old four months program, if you agree with me, right? Now let's talk about the program itself. <sighs> so my own program, I, I did mine during the COVID period. And I'll be honest, it was stressful. It was daunting. Um, I experienced a roller coaster of emotions. But because I was determined that I was going to um, be in this program and be done with it, um, and for the fact that I had, you know, supportive family, and of course, my God, I was praying. You're going to go through challenges. It's not going to be easy. Then also have at the back of your mind, which is very important, that you're a person of color coming in here to study. Just like, you know, every other immigrant, what they face in schools, um, your experience might be different again you're going to experience things like um of course cultural differences sometimes you'll be elated about the program and sometimes you'll be downcast and you'll be you'll be asking yourself questions like why am i in this program why do i choose nursing it's very stressful but guess what we are nigerians of course anything we start we must finish we are very determined. We are success driven. This is me putting it out there to encourage you all that if you know nursing is for you, be ready to form it. You're going to succeed. Okay? There's another thing I need to cover, and that's the issue about the school fees. 
and i'm just going to reference my own experience okay though i'm now a canadian but i came in here as a permanent resident some people came in here as students and now are on their way to becoming um, permanent residents or on their way to becoming a citizen um so if you're here and probably you came in through um pr that's a permanent resident um visa the good thing is you're gonna have access to um, school loans you're gonna have access to grants and the beautiful thing about getting the grants is you don't have to pay grants back grants is free um but of course you're gonna pay the loan back but they have very good um interest rates and they have a very good initiative with loans let's start with with the federal which is the canadian loan um you're not gonna pay back with interest that is you're just gonna pay the whole sum back that's it but for the alberta loan once you finish school you have what they call the grace period which is one year so you have one year to pay back your school loan without interest so the moment the one year elapses then you begin to pay interest and to be honest the interest rate is very small so it's honestly it's something you can manage by the time you begin to work it depends on you and what your financial goals are what your financial budgets are maximum three four five years you're done some people pay within one year some pay within two years some pay off even while still in the grace period so just you know work through with whatever your your budget is whatever your expenses is anyways let's talk about financing with the school fees for my, for my own program since it was a 24 months i had a total of four four terms so i had a term three term four term five and term six so there were a total of four terms and each term was roughly i think four thousand dollars yeah roughly four thousand dollars so in total i would say the school fees was about eighteen thousand to nineteen thousand so let me just give it you know an estimate like approximately like nineteen thousand dollars that wasn't much to be honest and the good thing is with the grant the grant is much so what i do is when i get the grant and i get a loan part of the um the grant i pay back my loan so by the time I finished school, to be honest, I had less than ten thousand. To be, and by the time I finished school, I had less than nineteen thousand dollars to pay back. Let's talk about international students. So if you are applying as an international student, that is probably you came in to Canada through the student visa, um, it's expensive. It's very expensive. So the school fees is about times three of what a PR or a citizen would pay. So it's, it's expensive, um, but just have it at the back of your mind. And nursing is a very lucrative career. So by the time you get in, you're done. If you save up two, three years, four years, you should be able to pay back your loan, maximum five years. And also there is no rush. And also there is no rush. Like I said, just the interest rate is just very little. Before you know, you pay back. Um, I don't think there's any other questions I haven't answered here. I think I've touched on everything i've talked about finances i've talked about the school fees i've talked about the prerequisites in nursing i've talked about the requirements to um admission so for a quick snapshot of everything i've said just to repeat so you're gonna take prerequisites to nursing gpa requirement is usually 3.6 and above but like i said do not target the 3.6 nursing program is very competitive so all you have to do is target the 4.0 to increase your chances of gaining admission. Um, take a uh, take a prerequisite in nursing from um, a recognized institution. Be sure to do your research. Ask your school of choice. Send an email. Call them. However you want to do it, contact them and ask for their own requirements. Ask how you need to navigate um, the program. Ask questions on what are the recognized universities or institutions where you can take prerequisites to nursing that they would approve. Very important. Ask them that question. I've basically covered everything. If you find this video helpful, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And please do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You do not want to miss out on more details because I'll be sharing more nursing content on 
things to avoid while practicing as a registered nurse here in Canada. I'll also be sharing more content on my journey to nursing. I'll be sharing official plans for my nursing career. Also, I'll be talking about details about other specialties you might want to explore as a registered nurse here in Canada. Also, I'll be sharing mini vlog on beauty, lifestyle, food, and so many contents that you do not want to miss. Okay? Thank you for watching and see you next time. Bye!